I took berberine for 30 days and here's exactly what happened. First off, why did I decide to take berberine? Well, I had a recent blood work done over the holidays. And as you know, when holidays hit, we tend to eat a lot more sweets. And my blood results came back with some alarming things that I didn't like, uh, such as my blood sugar levels were definitely a little bit elevated. They're at 102 milligrams per deciliter, but that's the thing that didn't alarm me the most. It was actually my insulin levels were elevated for the first time. So was definitely really concerned because I have family history of type 2 diabetes, so I definitely want to tackle this head on. And I figured berberine would be the best thing to do since it has such great research on helping lowering blood sugar levels and also impacting and decreasing your insulin. So the very first thing I want to do was to really see how sensitive my blood sugar levels were because that test was after eight hours of fasting. So that's something that you specifically want to be is be below 100 milligrams per deciliter. But what I always tell my patients and clients, ideally you want your blood sugar levels to be between 90 to 99 milligrams per deciliter after two to three hours after eating. So I decided to check to see how sensitive my blood sugar levels were and it was not great. It was actually at 107 milligrams per deciliter after two or three hours after eating. So I knew I had to tackle this. And so the very first week, what I did is I took 500 milligrams of berberine twice a day. So a total of 1000 milligrams. So the very first week, I wasn't expecting to really notice anything because we're trying to just impact blood sugar levels here to prevent from other costly issues of like getting type two diabetes, but also elevated blood sugar levels can definitely impact your energy, your mood, it can impact your ADHD like I have. So I knew this was also really beneficial for me to really tackle this. But the first week I didn't notice much and also my blood sugar levels didn't really change. Tried to changed very slightly, went from 107 to 106 milligrams per deciliter. So I guess a little bit, but not much. So I decided to stick with still 500 milligrams twice a day of the berberine, just to see if we just need some time to see if they could make a change. And it still didn't change much. Uh, I went from 106 to 105 milligrams per deciliter, so still elevated. So I wasn't really happy with those results. So moving on to the third week, I decided to increase my dosages. So I decided to do 500 milligrams three times a day, so a total of 1,500 milligrams a day. And boy, did that make a difference. It went from 105 milligrams per deciliter all the way down to 102 milligrams per deciliter. So getting pretty close to my goal. So remember, I want it between that 90 to 99 milligrams per deciliter after two to three hours after eating. Now, if you're like many of my patients that struggle with not only your blood sugar levels, but you also probably struggle with focus and energy, which your blood sugar levels do impact that. So you should download my free focus and energy guide in the description below that talks all about the supplements and labs and also different food treatments that I do implement for my patients. So download that guide in the description below. Now by week four, so getting to that full 30 days, I still stuck with doing 500 milligrams three times a day for a total of 1500 milligrams a day. And by being consistent, I finally did successfully get to that 99 milligrams per deciliter where I was trying to aim for after a couple hours after eating. But the interesting thing that I also found out, and I've seen this as another benefit that people do mention, is that it does help with you with losing weight. And I did notice that I lost a few pounds while doing this experiment. So that was definitely a plus bonus to be able to implement something like berberine as simple as just taking a pill. But I didn't stop there. I wanted to go for another few weeks of doing still about 1500 milligrams a day to see if it's if I could get a little bit lower, if I could get down to maybe that 90 range and also see if I can lose some additional weight. So I did it for a few more weeks and sure enough, my test results came back where I tested my blood sugar levels after a few hours after eating, it got it to 90 milligrams per deciliter. So you could bet that berberine definitely is very powerful and effective. I've used it a lot with my patients, especially my patients that have diabetes to add as a something additional to help support lowering their blood sugar levels. And especially for those who are pre-diabetic that you wanna kind of avoid the pre-diabetic range where I was kind of tearing too and I finally got this under control but on top of that even the full I did this for about six plus weeks I lost about six pounds and that was that made me happy by losing a pound pretty much every single week by just adding something like berberine on top of all the other health things that I do on a regular basis but if you're truly wanting to tackle your blood sugar situation then you should definitely think about starting to cut back on your sugar and maybe even go through an experiment of eliminating your sugar altogether. So you should watch this video next where I actually did a 30 day challenge of eliminating all sugar. And so you can watch my experience with that and watch this video next.